This video is going to be about the calibration of the FreeScan UE11, one of the latest releases from Einscan 3D. Um, this is really a metrology grade uh, 3D scanner. That means you have a very high precision um, in the volumetric, uh, in, let's say, needs. You will be able to uh, replicate very precise points that are far away from each other. Um, what is important in this case that this has as well some influence on the calibration itself. You will see compared to the video uh, that I made on the HX, um, that's a great uh, entry scanner, what is really still uh, in its price to benefit uh, relation really a benchmark. You will see that uh, calibration is more complicated for the UE, but this has to do with that let's say metrology grade preciseness that is uh, achieved and uh, it's a bit more tricky but follow up you will see it's possible and you will be you will be able to do it and afterwards scanning is quite comparable um, in its process to the laser scanning with the Einscan HX but uh, nevertheless there are some differences and I will make the next video on this topic installing and starting the software for the Einscan UE you will automatically be transferred to the calibration mode um, what is important um, to know is that in compared to an HX or other scanners um, you have to start over fast calibration button it's not possible to start calibration scanning on uh, the handle itself and um, regarding the needed actions it's quite similar to other laser scanners but compared to an uh, Einscan HX you have uh, additionally for increasing the preciseness to center the scan field in, in the calibration so uh, this is shown how, how you should put um, the scanner over the calibration board and, and this kind of the animation here but there is um, orientation important and this orientation will be given over feedback with this round um, knob here or this radius however you want to call it and you have to bring them into alignment you will see that right now I will go over the plate and you see okay that's fine so if you are snapped you can start calibration so you are going in my case I will start to go down because I I was m somewhere in the middle starting calibration and you hear that if you are fine with the calibration point there's beside that uh, check signal there is some click sound in the scanner itself what I think is quite good it's like you finish that what is a bit demanding is to keep your hand um, so focused on one area so it will take you some time and this time we have to turn that scanner here how it is shown uh, 20 degrees to the front so you have to keep it and then you are going to move like it is shown in the animation some bow
Okay, so next orientation is going to to do it inclinated to the back side, like it is shown in the animation. And in this inclination, again, you have to approximate and go far away to the plate. And meanwhile, you have to stay with your center. adjusted like it is shown before okay so you have right now the same to the side I'm imagining that some of you will find that procedure annoying, but if you need really high precision specs, you will not be able to avoid it, to have a more field calibration. Okay, so what's next? What was expectable is to do the same to the left side. And that's it. So this is fine. We confirm. And right now you will be able to work with that Einscan UE. In this case, it's a free scan. <laughs>